We're at Fenning Equipment in Coldwater, Ohio, and joining me is Adam Fenning. And Adam, behind us, a very, very tall sprayer. This is the Hagee. You've been using it for quite some time. In a cover crop scenario, it's got some versatility. Tell us more about that and why it works. Yeah, so what we've got here behind us is the FE4R cover crop applicator. So it's a dry box that we can uh, accommodate Hagee sprayers or other tall, uh, tall high, high clearance sprayers to do cover crops and dry fertilizer. So when we talk about cover crops, you actually have to switch the tanks for it? Correct. Yep, we remove the wet boom. We will replace it with our uh, dry boom. We've got the built-in scales. Um, super easy to mount. There's some boom work involved, but yes, yeah, same sprayer, switching tanks. And as we look to the drops on these, these are pretty impressive. How tall a corn can we get into and uh, talk cover crops, put in the cover crop seed? Correct. Um, you know, with, with the Hagees <clears throat> and the high clearance capabilities, uh, you know, we're talking eight, nine, ten foot corn um, in there in August, September. But if we want to put in fertilizer, do we shorten the drops or just keep the boom at the same height? Um, I would keep it at the same height because placement is always crucial in fertilizer. Uh, we want to get that down there uh, below the canopy is key. And when we talk about fertilizer placement, you actually have a Y tip that goes in this. What's the accomplishment there? Uh, that's correct. We call it the dry drop. Uh, the factor behind that is to not only get it below the canopy, but band it beside the corn plant. As we look at the opportunity here, any idea how far into the season we can get into the cover crop scenario or where are you projecting that people will need to be able to use this? Yeah, most customers are going to start doing cover crops around that mid-August point. Um, dry fertilizer is going to be a pre-tassel scenario, so an ESN or urea pre-tassel to, to gain more bushels. And again, recapping, we're talking about how to use the Hagee sprayer in a cover crop scenario with a different boom drops and dry tank. That's correct. Yep, it's a, it's a very versatile system. Not only do you have a sprayer, a liquid fertilizer applicator, but you've got dry fertilizer and, a, of course, cover crops. But I saw another piece of equipment out here with the big uh, box on the top. How are you using that one differently? Yeah, that's correct. Over here, we've got uh, the Valmar cover crop seeder. So that is a Salford product. What we do with those is that's a post-harvest cover crop applicator. So now we can manage residue in the fall um, and also apply cover crops. As we take a look at it, again, depending on what farmers needs, each will serve a particular role. How do we find out more? Uh, so basically you can go to our website, fennigequipment.com. Uh, we do quite a bit of adver advertisement with the Valmars, but uh, we also specialize in mounting these cover crop seeders. We do a lot of on-farm installations, um, but we can, uh, we can tackle several types of vertical tillage tools with the Valmar cover crop box. So in order to find out if it has the capability of being on your system, check the website, check the video. When in doubt, though, call? Yep, call 419-852-852. 5836. That's Adam, my phone number, and dad is 419-953-8500. And if you need both of those, make sure you check it out. You can find it here in Coldwater at Fenning Equipment or online at fenningequipment.com.